It's not easy finding some of the hundreds of veterans buried in Wesleyan Cemetery. The city of Cincinnati government owns it and is responsible for maintaining these historic grounds. But on this Veterans Day, we saw dozens of broken tombstones, piles of yard debris, and trash cans overflowing with garbage. Just nine miles from the cemetery, more than 200 people honored veterans at a ceremony held at Green Township's Veterans Park. Oh, it was very special. Former Army Specialist Robert Alexander says he drove here from the Dayton area to be around other veterans to show his support for the ones who survived and those who didn't. Our country isn't perfect, but this is a wonderful country and it's worth putting your life on the line for this country. The Green Township ceremony included two World War II veterans. 101-year-old Ed Burke was a major who served at Omaha Beach, which suffered the highest casualties of D-Day. It's difficult sometimes to talk about Omaha Beach. He talked instead about some of the great commanders in American history going back to the Revolutionary War. It's very important. There are Revolutionary War soldiers buried at Wesleyan Cemetery, along with so many others. The conditions there, so disappointing to veterans here. Get this cleaned up. This is a disrespect to not just the veterans, but the other people that were buried in that cemetery. It's just sad. In a statement Thursday, the city said a contractor mows the grounds once a month, and that city officials will be at the cemetery Friday to check the condition. In Green Township, veterans celebrated a day dedicated to honoring those who served our nation during war and peace. Now, some of these veterans hope the dignity they felt here will someday be shown to these veterans too. Craig Cheatham, WCPO 9, IT.